Justin M, thank you for the two hundred dollars. You're no, you're not allowed. Are you sure? Not yet. They have to hit five hundred k. Oh, okay. I'm holding Mark ransom. Okay. Stick your hand in. That's Mark's hand. You can tell. You can tell by how muscular it is. Eee. That's a hand that could crush a baby's Look head. Look at my thumb muscle. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you've been training. Yes, I know. But that's all they get. Do you have about 8k to go and then Mark's allowed on? Mm. I'm holding him to ransom. Oh no, ransom in this comfy chair out here. <laughs> well, you don't have to do anything yet. Uh. Elizabeth A, thank you for the $20. Rachel, thank you for the $1. Dylan, thank you for the 5. Freddie for the 20. Um, you have seven and a half k to go, which is 163,000 meals are raised. Thank you. Uh, Anonymous, thank you for the $25. Ellen Angus, thank you for the $10. Dylan Riley for the $20. Orner, Orner Core, thank you for the $2,000. They really want to see you. Uh, Ryan Overton, thank you for the $5. Alex Crawl for the five. Puka Tails for the five. Am Braylon. Uh, thank you for the twenty dollars. We're about four k ish dollars away, less than that. Uh, Mary Catherine, thank you for the ten. Sabrina and Londa for the ten. Cheska for the ten. Connie Berger for the fifty one ninety nine. Anonymous for the three hundred. Orazi donated two thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars, which brings us to half a million. Woo! Thank you. Wow. The tough crowd. Turn? Really tough crowd. Now you can come oh, on. Okay. All right. Now you can join us in okay. the play space. Hello. Hi. How is it going? Thanks for wearing clothes this time. Oh, thank you. No problem. I really appreciate you. Yeah, of course. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Thanks for coming on, Mark. Oh, of course, man. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, not much. You know, just been busy. Um, keeping up with stuff. Uh, finally finished a bunch of sprint projects that I was doing. Nice. And now I get actually some time to relax for the holidays, which... Oh, and I made you come on this. I'm so sorry. This is relaxing. Oh. I mean, it was really ominous. I, I don't know. Tyler walked by with a something. I guess I can't say what it was, but a, a big old th something in his hands. And he said, uh, you'll have to deal with this later. And I'm like, why would I have to deal with that? I don't even know what that is. Yeah. And then I see whatever is going on over there that you probably haven't shown anybody. No. Nope. you shown anybody? Nope. Not yet, but they know. It involves sandwiches. What? what does that mean? That's what people said backstage, and I didn't understand what that meant anyway. Uh, you're going to have to put sandwiches somewhere, but we won't tell you where yet. All right, fine. Whatever. <laughs> it's, it's for charity. Regular, just a regular old thank miss. Yeah, look, if you get naked for charity, you can shove a sandwich up your ass for charity. Well, I feel like those are two different things, but I you guess... You can put it on your OnlyFans if you want. I don't want to, though. <laughs> How have you been, though? Good. Yeah. Busy. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got in like, what, four days ago, three days ago? Mm -hmm. Just chilling, yeah. hanging out. Yeah. That's it. I know where that's from. What? That's an Ikea painting. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know. I, I didn't design it. Because I, I know why, because I've walked through Ikea and looked at it before, and, I, and, and I've been like, oh, it's pretty cool. And Amy was like, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> why not? <laughs> because she actually has an appreciable taste in art and uh, oh. on something that, there it is. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why we're showing this off. I'm sorry to derail your thankful stream to talk that, about that's this. That's okay. This uh, uh, <laughs> mass manufactured Ikea piece of art. <laughs> I think it's cool though. So I think well it's pretty done. cool. Whoever did the set decoration here did a great job. They did a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate them. Thank you guys so very, very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Those are the leaders. Ah. So they're all fighting for top spot to be the biggest person today. Yeah, and you're at half a million already? Yes. Is that good? Yes. Okay, good. Half a million was what we set our goal to, but now we're blasting past that. We're gonna try and hit a million. Damn. That's what we're gonna do. Because at a million dollars, I said I would say this at 500K, if we hit a million dollars, it gets doubled instantly. So if you guys get us to a million dollars, it turns into two million dollars. Well, that's really cool. It seems like you're going even faster than last year. Yeah, this is crazy. Well, damn. Well, you can I don't relax. know why. You can relax then. There's no pressure to do anything kind of like Oh, yeah. Here. It's just Christmas. So glad Big Dick Moneybags is here. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's uh, what'd you call me? The only fan man? <sighs> the only man around. The only, I'm, I'm, I'm nudie McOnly man. <laughs> <laughs> Nudie McOnly man. They actually green screened on my clothes. I am very naked here presently. <laughs> yeah, he said once he starts his OnlyFans, he's never going to walk around with clothes ever again. Yeah, man, there were so many people mad. I mean, I know there's a charity stream, probably family friendly, but there were so many people mad that I didn't show my penis on my OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, 
I wasn't you were actually fairly angry. upfront about it. Uh, you know, but people still had hopes. You know, I can't quash their dreams. That's you know, true. You gotta else. leave something for when your career goes in the tank. Yeah, you know, I gotta have one last move in the back pocket yeah. before everything goes. Across. Once everything like hits the shitter, it's like, okay, cock's coming out. <laughs> And then it really want to put it like balls that. to the wall, literally. No, no, I gotta separate those two. You know, you first. <laughs> yeah, I'm a tiered system. I only have so many assets left. Which, which is the highest on the tier of your goods? Taint. Taint. How crass can we get on this? I mean, it's too late now because it's, it's live, but whatever. I, we've been swearing. I've been making horny jokes. Good, it doesn't good, matter. Good. I would only hope. I talked about shoving a sandwich up your ass. I think it's okay. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's you know me. <laughs> that's my last desperate move. In all honesty, like I, I've never been truly that bothered by the concept of. Uh, I mean, as you know, remember when me, uh, you, and Felix were doing that one video, and it was like, who is most likely to uh, post a or have or post a selfie of like nudes leak or something like that? Me. Maybe it's just like Korean culture, because you know. Not that they get naked all the time anyway, but you know, Korean bass and what I don't know. Maybe it's just a I'm bunch weird. of prudes out there. Yeah, I know, right? It's just a body, right? It's just we all man. have one. Not all of wait, a body? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bind body, bind body, mind body soul. Is that Aaron Hansen? Oh. Aaron Hansom. Oh my God. Come on in. Dude, what are you? Bring it. Oh, dude, you sick shoes. Oh, thanks, man. They're they're like Megazord shoes from Power Rangers. Oh. Wow. I like your hole pants. Oh, Thank you. Oh, oh. They You're look like cool. holes, but they're just reflective, right? Uh, Pants? Wait, Sit the, in the middle. Okay. Just I didn't know what Sit! the framing was. All right, is that on. an official see. Mortimer t-shirt? Uh, yes, it is. You can get it at PsychicCircleOddities.com. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. No, you're oh, supposed to click the link in the description to go to Tiltify and donate to World Central Kitchen. That's right. Oh, right. Well, if you've got too much money, like me, and you just want to throw it somewhere, why not go there? World Central Kitchen! <laughs> right. Do it! Both places. You know, you got money <laughs> falling out everywhere. Why not? Please, guys, I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> Say other things. Oh, okay, cool. Say uh, a joke, Aaron. Um, uh, why, why did why did the chicken why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know why, Aaron. Why did the chicken cross the road? It's like a it's like a McDonald's over there, and he was like, I'm feeling a little peckish because he's a chicken. He pecks. Thank you. Someone back there loved that joke. <laughs> Dude, he's been laughing at everything I do, and it's given me so much motivation there to you go. stay alive on the stream. You need, oh. to, you need to hire like a personal laugher, you know? Yeah. Uh, that, that reminded me, I forget, it was, was it Tyler? Tyler and I, we were at a stand up show. Was it you and me? And, and a few other people were at a stand up show, and it was like open mic night, right? And there was this guy coming up there, and there was maybe like 15 people in the audience, but me and Tyler, every joke, killed us, like, but we were the only people laughing in the audience. But every single joke, we were dying laughing. It made that guy's night. He like, he would point us out like, hey, As long God, as one person's laughing, you, you can be the funniest man on earth. I, I feel like even... you get funnier when people laugh around you. Yeah, yeah. I, had, I had that experience when I was watching Scary Movie 3, which oh, yeah. is not good. But there's a... I love Scary Movie 3. Okay, yeah. fine, it's a That's great the one movie. Where he's like, one of the best in the world. I saw a face, and he's like, did it have a nose? She's like, yeah, that does sound like a face. <laughs> That's great! Right. It's got the hat joke in it. Yeah! Okay, about? all right, fine. I was just, I was I was being coy. I love Scary Movie 3. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point of the story, is that I was in a theater and nobody was laughing, but I was laughing hysterically, <laughs> to the point where like people were like, dude, what are you doing? And it's like, dude, it's a comedy movie. <laughs> laughing. You do have a good hysterical laugh. Oh, thanks, My man. favorite thing to do is be around you and just say something really fucking stupid. <laughs> and that happens. <laughs> Your high-pitched laugh comes out, and I'm like, that fills me with so much joy. Of course, man. Well, you are a funny guy. <laughs> That's why you got this whole setup going on. No, this, to... is, this is because I'm a nice guy. Oh. And a good guy. Okay. It's, it's all a vanity project. Huh. Keep going. I wonder how many of those jokes I can make before people start actually thinking that I'm serious. That you're a nice guy? How many years? It's been 2017? Is that when it started? Five, yeah. So you, st you still probably got five more years. And yeah. then people will be like, wait a second, <laughs> this guy. Fuck that guy. Exactly. Wait, why is it just Shining saying, Markiplier put a tweet out? Why do I gotta do that? You can't tell me what to do. I'll put a tweet out. Oh, we'll put a tweet out, but <laughs> eventually. Bag. We'll eventually get to it. They, <laughs> All this pressure. Um, can we get uh, three waters as well, please? Oh. You guys look thirsty. <laughs> 
Thanks. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> You're really in tune with our needs. You're just looking at my dehydrated skin or something. Yeah, I was like, man, he's really thinning out back here. It's one of those, one of those like underhanded. Like, you look tired. Like, oh, thanks. Appreciate Put some it. Some water. Yeah. Oh, man. Actually, I did have to dehydrate incredibly for OnlyFans because my trainer, Alex. Oh, thank you very much. Oh my God. Thank you, Tyler. 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 Tyler, everybody. Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's usually. <laughs> he, he has his boxing trainer that was like, and, and you know how boxers do the weight dropping. I mean, you probably did. Didn't? No, you didn't have to. You I didn't were, have you to. Were I was in like, the heavyweight class. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Against someone sixty pounds heavier than you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they wanted me unfair. not to lose weight, but I did accidentally. Oh yeah, well, it just happens. But he had me uh, like just sweating down, and I'm like, I've never been thirstier in my life. Doing like sauna after sauna, hot yoga. Have you done hot yoga? No. I highly recommend it. Yeah? It is torturous and awful. It sounds hot. Oh. Yeah, it is extremely hot. You will sweat more than you've ever sweat in your life. But at the end of it, after the torture is over, there's a moment where you just lay on the ground. They call it corpse pose because you're basically dead. And you're just laying there <laughs> and you're awesome. basking, you're like almost drowning in a pool of your own sweat. And you're just like, thank God it's over. But that feeling is so refreshing compared to the torture you were just in. It's like so. so it's a real yin and yang situation. It is. That sounds like yeah. being like an adrenaline junkie. Kind of. Yeah. The closer to death I get, the better I feel. Yeah. These are the things that make people think I'm a masochist, but it's not. I like comparative experiences. I like highs and lows. Yeah. I like how you do masochistic things, and you're like, this is why everybody else thinks I'm a masochist. Well, it's not like I'm the only person that does hot yoga. There's That's plenty true. of people that do it, but for some reason, people th either are averse to yoga in general, um, and it's great to stretch every day and get like uh, the, the, the sweat going and the yeah. you know, flexibility and mobility, and there's some strength involved, but at the same time, like, how often do you have a good sweat? Get all the impurities uh, every day. out. Every day, literally every day. Never sweat mind them. Out. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I needed more water. Oh, he okay. could sense the yeah. beads of sweat on me. I could start to see his varicose veins. Why don't you, thank you. <laughs> More God, I don't think varicose much. veins are a good thing. I don't think that's a compliment. Don't, no, it don't means I have it. good blood flow. No, I think, isn't that like a, the things in your legs? Like they call it, get rid of your, you know, in yeah. the 90s commercials, get rid of your varicose veins. Well, I, I happen to like mine. Thank you very much. Good for I you. I don't even know if I have any. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, I just said it because I thought it'd be funny. Why don't you just hire a guy to like, Threaten to kill you every day and just like try, <laughs> and then a guy like, with a gun to your yeah, head all the time for like an hour, and then <laughs> and then you go into corpse pose. Oh right, yeah. Um, I feel I like mean, that would be pretty. That would be a lot cheaper than hot yoga, probably. I I don't think so. I don't, I don't feel yeah, like there's that would tons be... of people that would be happy to. They do it for free. Yeah. yeah. What if I go to hot yoga and I tell them to hold a gun to my head the whole time, and if I fail at any of the poses, they will kill me. That's euphoria. Yeah. That's, a good, that's a good idea. Yeah. What if I do. 16 lines of coke and then go into hot yoga in an airplane that is falling, free falling from the sky down, and it's just like, ah, the whole time, and then it swoops up at the bottom and it gets cold. But then you and know. Corpse pose. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta have somebody that's really convincing that's like, we're just gonna, we're just gonna nosedive and we're gonna crash. And then you gotta be convinced utterly that it's happening, and then you corpse pose. You need to get Evan to have like someone like come into your house, like break a window every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like brick window. to wake you up, like throw a brick through your window. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. Have somebody plan things that are unexpected that you don't know they're happening. Because yeah. if you hire a guy that tries to kill you, you know what's happening. So you know there's going to be an end. But you have to get somebody else to be like, ha ha ha. And then they hire somebody like an axe murderer or whatever. And they Break a window, out. kidnap Amy. Yeah. So what's the difference between if I don't know it, then what's stopping me from killing them with my boar spear? Well, I mean, you could. That's part of the risk that you have to take on when you do. You probably job. like sign a contract. But then so I, no. If they sign a contract, well, it's fine. if that happens, then you can go back to hot yoga. I am itching to use my boar spear. <laughs> I have a boar spear. I can't spear wait by my for bed. someone to break into my house. I am so ready with my boar spear and my bed sword. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to derail this conversation. Mm. What's a boar spear? Ah, it's a spear for boars. Got it. So when you are hunting boars. I was hoping boars, he would go into it, yeah. When you're hunting boars, right? Uh -huh. As you, you do. don't want to use a gun like a coward. Mm. You have sharp weapons, right? But you don't want to be close to the boar. Boars range from anywhere from 300 pounds to up to 1,000 yeah, They're real fast. They could be huge yeah. and fast. They are surprisingly fast. Mm -hmm. So when they're coming at you, this is how Robert Baratheon died. He wasn't ready for the boar because he was drunk right. and or yeah. drugged. Yeah. He was but, also fictitious. Yes, he wasn't a real person. He's still dead. Regardless. That's, that's true. So you have your boar spear, and when it's charging at you, it's got both a hilt at the end and a long blade. Mine's about 13 inches long. It's got a hilt at the end. Yeah, or uh, whatever you would call it, the flanged out like this part. Why? 
like the halberd. To keep part. the boar from going all the way up the spear because the, the oh. diameter of the spear is then actually just, about the same the as the blade. For you, then you can just and then you go the right over the fire. If you if you carry its momentum and you're ready with the fire behind you, oh, and then you put it right on the fire. Whoa, dude! Yeah. Have you done that? No, well, but I'm waiting for, for someone to break into either my a head. boar or a person. <laughs> <laughs> I keep a Use fire. Use momentum. <laughs> So when when do you think that's going to happen? Maybe you need to hire somebody to l unleash a boar in your house. <laughs> it's going to be then do corpse 50. pose after. There you that's go. Really, yeah, yeah, it's that's like one I got to chest it out. If it's a brown bear, I got to do corpse pose. If it's a black bear, I do the momentum. And if it's a boar, I do the momentum. Is that you true? You huh? Is that true about the bear thing? Grizzly bear? You're supposed to play dead. I don't know if it works though. No, that's yeah. Grizzly bear, you play dead. Black bear, you fight back. Yeah. <laughs> if it's black, fight back. If it's brown, lie down. <laughs> Did you yeah. just make that up? Or is no, that that's true? true. That's true. Wow. How do black you? Black bears are cowards. How do you fight back for a black bear? You make yourself oh! big. Oh, hey. boys, hey bear. Hey bear. Oh, hey bear. Oh, hey bear. Oh, hey. Yeah. See? Right. I guess that is pretty intimidating. Yeah. Do you realize how many black bears around here are running right now? <laughs> At somebody? Oh, no, watching? away, because they got scared. Oh, all all your black bear it. fans yeah. just ran away, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Shit! Well, that's the that's the that's the coyote trick. Boy. I live in a neighborhood that has a bunch of like stray coyotes that run around mm -hmm. and they, they, they roam at night, right? So if you like walking your dog or getting your mail or something, sometimes there's just like a coyote in the street that's like like yards away from you and you're mm -hmm. like, oh, there's a coyote there. I hope I don't die today. So you have to, it's called go away coyote where you just raise your arms in the air and run at it and go, go away coyote! <laughs> and then it hates it. It's just, it absolutely hates it. It's, so. just, it's like with the winter soldier phrase, the coyote's like, go! Ah! <laughs> it activates its fight or flight or whatever. <laughs> I, was, I, I, was, I was in my house and I was playing with a laser pointer and there was a coyote out the window. And I was like, yo, I wonder if coyotes look cats and they'll love the laser. <laughs> and so I shot the laser at the ground and it like, Bolted. It was like so scared. It, like, <laughs> it just ran away. It was like, what is this? Go away, coyote. Yeah. So or, you can, or you can use a laser. Or it had flashbacks of like the hunter with the laser sight that killed its paw. And it was like, not me. Yeah. No yeah. way. I know this dot of death. <laughs> I've seen who, this before. Who do you think would win? A grizzly bear or a silverback gorilla? Ooh. Because I have. That's tough. Didn't you read that thing about the gorillas? We don't know how strong they are. There's yeah. there's no way to like physically measure because they won't I'm, cooperate. A bear, a grizzly bear is stronger. No, oh, but you don't. Thank know. you. Okay, no, so I he, mean, here's the thing. This is real, by the way. There's news stories about this. Uh -huh. They don't. Th so the gorillas they choose to stay in captivity. So like, and I'm not. This isn't like one of those things. I'm saying like, they leave all the time. Like they can just leave, but they don't. So like th th we don't know how strong they are because some gorillas are just like I'm out and then they just climb and get out and they're like ah oh, we got to get the gorilla. But we do know how strong a grizzly bear is. Well I don't. We don't keep them captive. <laughs> I don't know about the grizzly bear thing. I'm, I'm just going on about gorillas. I I had a conversation about this with another YouTuber a while back and they were like gorilla obviously and I'm like that's vanity. No it's not. They're that's strong you. and scary and they go. Ooh. What do you think a grizzly bear grizzly is? Bears, like, no, but grizzly Ten bears are tall. dumb. Gr gorillas are super smart, and they get it. And they know not to fight a grizzly bear. Yeah, no, they yeah. would though. They would not. Have you ever played Overwatch? Winston's like the best tank. Yeah, but wait till the bear yeah, character. Yeah, where's the grizzly? <laughs> they don't put it in the game because it would be imbalanced. Yeah, it'd be like the worst character. My thing is that everyone's always like, oh, we'll we'll captive, we put a gr gorilla in captivity. They don't do that with bears. Yeah, they do. Well, they don't do it with grizzly bears. Yeah, because they know it's impossible. What are you talking about? I was in bite a boat in half. That was in Montana like two years ago, and they had the whole like bear thing. Well, not in like uh, the Los Angeles Zoo. They wouldn't have a grizzly bear. Well, maybe because they have they don't have the budget or something. I don't know. Maybe they don't have a bear guy. L.A. doesn't. People are always like, oh, gorilla has opposable thumbs. I'm like, yeah, but he's not gonna use them. Yeah. Is he gonna go pick up a gun? I'm not making that <laughs> argument. I just think they're strong and smart, and they, they are Ooh. strong. Bears have claws. Giant claws. Yeah. So does Vega, and he doesn't win every Street Fighter fight. Well, it's not about Vega versus a grizzly bear. It's about a gorilla versus a grizzly bear. Well, there's that guy, Zangief. He fights bears, and Vega sometimes... Yeah, but he also punched a car. They I don't think you can trust his decisions. I punched a car the other day. Did you? Yeah. Did you think it was a grizzly bear? No, no, it was, it was part of a thing. There's like a there's like a place in LA you can like break things. Oh, oh rage yeah. room kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, and you can you can do it on a car. I really wanted to do that here. 
but they said we needed to use the set. <laughs> so for what? I don't know. You I should have to... done it last. It I... should have been the finale. Oh, we have a finale plan. Don't you worry. Okay. Is it I'm... better than destroying the entire set? It is destroying the entire set. Got it. At, at the end of this stream, I'm allowed to burst through one of these walls like Kool Aid Man. Okay, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to spoil everything. No, no, for no. I, I, I hinted at it earlier. What oh, is okay. this ominous countdown? <sighs> that's until you guys have to this. There's an activity that's coming up. Oh. Yeah. What do you think that is? What does it look like? Don't show it. <laughs> it's like think? about to whip over. <laughs> 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 okay. I think, oh, I know what it is, so I'm, I don't know why I say it. What do you think it is? I mean, it looks like a table to prep food. He thinks it's a table to prep food. What an idiot. Dude, come what on. a silverback gorilla smooth brain. <laughs> All right. No, black bear. What? Black bear. bear's the one Go away, lose. coyote. <laughs> huh. You just gotta say different animals, and then you'll find out my identity, and when I'm scared, just like, no, <laughs> they know. God. How many animals do you think that works on? Just go away, animal name. I don't know, probably a lot. Yeah. Well, because they, you know, with bears, you have to wear bear bells. You bear heard of that? bells? Yeah, if you're like hiking and there's, it's like a bear area, then you wear bells all over you. A bear, yeah. So that they know that you're around, because they don't. Hell yeah. Feel ba a bear. Uh, what? It's a bear area. It's a bear area. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were saying the bells are like a barrier. No, okay. bear. Uh, Sorry, my my brain was somewhere else. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you go in an area that has a lot of bears, right? And you wear bear. these bells so that the bears know that you're there, and they don't. Dinner time. They don't want to mess with you. Can I swear? Yeah. They don't want to fuck with you, so you wear the bear bells, and they're like, oh, okay, because if you sneak up on a bear, they're like, <laughs> and then they want to get at you, and they try to eat you. I don't want to sneak up on a bear. Exactly, you wear the bear bells, because then they're like, oh, what's that? I don't want to deal with that, because they're stupid. And gorillas wouldn't, gorillas would be like, what's that bell? That sounds delicious, and then they'd come and find you. I think <laughs> that the best way to get all animals to avoid you is there's got to be some deep ingrained thing of fear. If, if you walk through the woods and sing, like in a very ethereal yeah. voice, if I heard something singing like that in the woods, which hunters say they have heard things sure, like that, like yeah. sirens and and uh, mermaids and and Banshees. that sea stuff, but in the forest, like I think everything would be afraid. Of that only works on humans. Woods. I don't know. There aren't bears that have old ancient stories about sirens. <laughs> they don't have rocks. existential dread. Yeah, I don't know. They just man. eat berries and they go. Ooh. Bears in the woods, know. and he's like, "What if? What if there's more out there?" <laughs> What if I haven't seen Have it you all? seen, there's pictures of bears that just sit on top of hills and look at vistas because they're like, and scientists are like, I think they're just looking at the view. Because they're, they're just sitting and looking, just like Chica does, my dog. She just sits and looks. She is not appreciating the, the view when she, she is just, so appreciative. She'll look view. at a wall. Yes, the view is great. <laughs> what if she just has a vision that just zooms into like the atoms and she's watching like the microbes <laughs> she's fighting? She's got a variable lens. Oh. She's watching mitosis happen. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, you know? She, she, she knows more than she lets on. And then she just turns like, Father. <laughs> Animals do enjoy the views, I will say that. They enjoy yeah. their life. I love, I love, my favorite thing to, to watch on YouTube is monkeys eating. There's just something so, because they don't, you know, when we eat now, we're such weirdos that we're like, oh, watch something on my phone, <laughs> they go back to work. Yeah. But monkeys, they get something, and they, and they, they just, like, del they take little pieces, and they, like, thinking about life. And they just look around, and they're yeah. just like, oh, the cloud's weird. It's like, oh, that's so nice. It's like a little moment of peace for the monkey, and we should all be that lucky. To be a monkey? Yeah, you never seen that little snub-nosed monkey? That's like, that kind of, and then oh, yeah. gives him bananas, and he's like. He's like, chill, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever given food to a monkey? No, I'm no. scared of monkeys. They're so delicate. Really? Yeah, they like, they kind of like. They you just said that your hand and they're like, gorillas would rip your face off. Gorilla's not a monkey, it's a gorilla. It's different. It's an ape. Oh, okay. My apologies. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about all these fucking ape experts yeah. you brought on. I had no idea. That's actually what the charity's for, is apes. Yeah. <laughs> what is the charity for? I'm glad you asked, Aaron Hansen. Today's charity is World Central Kitchen. They're an organization for a nonprofit that goes to the front lines in times of crisis. They help by giving out food. They coordinate with chefs on the front lines. Which one are you looking at? Hold on. This, that, this that, boy, that this boy right that. here. Yeah. On the front lines, they coordinate with chefs to give food to people who are in need and go hungry. Donate in the description. 
in the description? There's a link. There's a link in the description. Link. I guess donate's a better call to action, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's lots of links and descriptions all the time. It's, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, you, you basically tune it out at this point. So we were talking about bears. Well, we were talking about monkeys. We were talking oh, about apes. We were talking about apes. <laughs> no, well, we were talking about apes, then we talked about bears, then we talked about monkeys. Yes. What's your favorite monkey? I don't have one. I've oh, never, come on. I've You've never seen thought monkeys. of the Come on! You know monkeys! <laughs> when you you think know of, monkeys! When you think of monkey, what's the first thing that pops into your head? <gasps> God. What's the image? Boom. Uh, the, right the uh, monkey. Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes. One, monkey. One. No! When he does that. In Planet of the and Apes. And then the gorilla goes. <laughs> oh, I thought, <laughs> you were, I thought you were upset at me saying <laughs> no. that. <laughs> no! Not by when he age. speaks for the first time and Draco Malfoy is like, what the fuck? Oh, you're talking about the Tim Burton one. The Tim Burton Or the what? new, new one. The new, the rise of the planet Tim of the Apes. Tim Burton okay, got it. made a planet of the apes Yeah, the, the remake with Mark Wahlberg was Tim Burton. There's a Mark Wahlberg planet of the apes? Yeah, what? man, it's terrible. That tracks. Did I wake up in an alternate universe? What it's, it's, I what? thought we just had the classic one, like the old, like, you blew it up. No, no, there was one that nobody really liked it that much. Oh! Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, but it had a tra it, it had the monkey riding with the foot. I uh, sure it did. Great. There was a trailer that had music that like every other trailer stole for the next like five years. Oh, like, like the Inception like, sound yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was the same exact song, and people were like, oh, "I've heard that song." It was just Planet of the Apes. Okay. Mark Wahlberg. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Marky Mark and the Monkey Bunch, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. Pack it in, guys. Comedy's dead. <laughs> Go on. It's over. We killed it. That's a good one. All right. Sure. It's fine. There's like there's like ten people out there, <laughs> <laughs> and not a single person's laughing because they don't care. <laughs> Leonhard donated fifteen thousand dollars. He sure did. God, that guy's awesome. I don't know if he pulls sick Charizards, but he pulls crazy donations out of his ass. Dude, he's I don't know this guy. He's just like. I got this uh, pack, and it's, it's worth like $70,000, and I'm going to crack it today. And it's like, duh! I don't know how he does it. Don't touch it! I don't know how he Your does hands it. have destructive oils! Exactly. you got to wear the blue gloves. Don't they also say that, like, for delicate books, you're not supposed to wear the gloves because you can't really feel as well? Oh, and then you'll, like, rip it you accidentally or something? might tear it by accident, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I got to do that with a Bible. I've heard, I've heard that you shouldn't open old cards with gloves because... Just because of the same thing. You're just kind of like, whoa, and it's just abrasive or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, you want to be able to touch it. Yeah, it's like the cards are meant to be played. I'm of the mind of if you have a first, if, you, if I saw a child and he had a first edition Charizard unsleeved and he was playing with it, I'd be like, great, that's what it's for. Yeah. And also I'd be like, oops, I wish I had that. Yeah. I, uh, I bought a Shadow of the Colossus uh, special edition, the, you know, the paper one that came with the postcards and everything. And I had it when I was a kid, and then I lost it because it gets fucked up really easily. So yeah. I got it on eBay and out some plastic, and I'm never, ever, 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 ever opening it. It's not worth like 10 grand or anything, but. You should get it graded. No. Sealed in acrylic plastic with an ugly number. I don't want to be like everyone else. That whole world fascinates me. The what? card collecting world and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know, because I'm not a collectibles guy. I don't collect anything really. Um, and so when it comes down to like having things, I am of the mind of like, you, it's meant to be used. It's meant to be worn. Yeah. It's meant to like wear the impermanence of life and all that. And you know, how nothing lasts. Mm -hmm. We're all just dust in the wind waiting to crumble. Hey, how about a game? Yeah, huh? let's do it. Cool. All right. Come on over, guys. Fun stuff, man. Fun stuff. Uh, this is Aaron. Hello. Who works with World Central Kitchen? Hi. Wait. You're Aaron or I'm Aaron? Aaron. Aaron. Okay. Aaron. Oh, Aaron. Aaron. Aaron with an E. Uh huh. Yes. Got it. Nice to meet you. Nice Sorry, I'm crossing camera. And this Hello. is uh, Naisha Arrington, everybody. Naisha. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Hey. Chef Naisha Arrington. Sorry. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. As well. He made Can that as that awkward, awkward as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Nice. nice and you. break, everybody. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice. We have a wonderful game prepped for okay. everybody, where we are um, over there. Or... Yeah. You, I feel like you we're can... framed strange. No, you can filter in. You can filter okay. in behind. Yep. You get an oh. apron. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Do I get to keep it? <laughs> wow. You can if you want. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
I'm gonna go over here because I like being over. That's styrofoam. <laughs> here. That's fake snow. Oh yeah, you you can break it quite easily. But I don't want. Should I break what? The wall. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Fun. Why wouldn't you? You have a sick, Based twisted own, definition of fun. Wait, That's why I've always really? thought you were horrible human being. I can't wait to get off from commercial oh. break and tell everyone what you really are. We're gonna be making. It's like not on break. <laughs> All right, where do we go? And we're back. Right and we're back, oh, everybody. Yes. Okay, we are going to be uh, doing some speed sandwich making. Um, Should I take my watch off? Is that how serious mm. this is? No. Whoa, Does nice watch. Um, no, it actually tells me exactly how fast Keep I'm going on, at all times. You're good. Got plus five to sandwich making. Okay, so, oh, thank you. So, Aaron, do you want to talk to us a little bit about the sandwich? Because I, yeah. I, I know it's, it's very it's important to, to World Central Kitchen, this sandwich that we're going to it's be like, making. I don't know. It is, it's yeah. Okay. So, okay. sandwich is oh, here, God, and now it's a game, but during World Central Kitchen activation, sandwiches are, are super important to our, our work. Um, sandwiches are basically what we consider our, our MRE, our meal ready to eat. So one of the reasons why we do what we do and what inspired Jose was, and remember we were talking about the earthquake earlier yep. in, in Haiti in 2010, um, what emergency relief organizations and governments still hand out to this day to families is MREs. It's literally what our military eats in times of, of combat, right? It's, it's, um, prepared food, usually in a bag, you pour some hot water in it and then they call it a meal and it's yeah. full of calories, but there's so much more to food. And so while our teams are in the kitchen buying vegetables and produce and getting all the food from local sources, if we can, um, our volunteers are making thousands, if not tens of thousands of sandwiches. Whoa. And so sandwiches are our MREs, right? It's quick, it's healthy, it's delicious. We yeah. can pack it up in our car. So as we're scouting and identifying neighborhoods and communities and families that need food, we always show up with food and that first food is sandwiches. So you guys get to make our MREs today. Yeah. Wow. yeah. They have a very specific sandwich that they bring that we are going to learn how to make. Oh, would you say that sandwiches are your bread and butter? Da -dun -dun. <laughs> we can do that. We can Whoever's do that. judging, take points <laughs> off of him. Or wait, 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 not bread and butter. Let's say bread and mayo. Oh, for our case. Is that what this is? Yes. So everybody has their magic sauce, right? Special sauce. This is ours. 100%. Um, it's not so secret because I'm just going to tell you it's mayo and ketchup. So the secret's out now. Ooh. Oh, but it's still that's special. a good combo. Yeah, that's, the, that's, the, that's the fried um, dip and stuff. So the heart of our sandwiches, which y'all, you will be graded on, right? In terms oh. of speed, because urgency, people are hungry. You yep. got to get these sandwiches going and they need food now. Okay. So you're going to be thinking of that. Um, two pieces of bread to start, right? Mayo, two pieces of cheese, and four pieces of ham folded over. Okay. okay. Fold it over. Fold it over. Uh huh. So okay. Half folded. folded. Well. Taco folded. How do you fold? How else do you fold? Long wise, long wise, <laughs> hot dog taco. There's Not two different fold. ways. Well, <laughs> try it whatever's fastest for this, because it's a game so and it's pressure. speed. And remember, you got to get those meals. You got to get these sandwiches out. Should we and the crusts. Because we're making these sandwiches, it's also important to put out that we're not wasting any of this. That people will be eating these sandwiches. Well, right. mine might be a little off, but. It's People will be eating, eating these sandwiches. Okay, sure. I get She's going to keep you on track. I get a new glove? I patted him on the shoulder, and I feel like it's contaminated. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right behind you. Wait, is it really that bad? <laughs> so I shouldn't pick my nose? We just talked about how we're, we were just these doing monkey to, talk. These are going to actual people. I don't, I haven't been keeping track of what I've been touching. I guess I've just You're good, we've been that. watching you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we keep an eye on that Wow, stuff. that's. Okay, so after the sandwich is done, it's not ready to go out yet. We have to wrap each one with plastic wrap and then a sticker on it so people know that they are delicious and prepared with. Quality assured. Yes, okay. do you, do you, love, comfort, you, all of that. Do you use the butts of the bread? Use the whole bread. Use uh -huh. all the bread, okay. Uh -huh. Somebody gets the butt bread, dude. Someone gets the butt bread. <laughs> it's where the nutrition is in the yeah, crust. It's the best. Do you guys feel good? No. No. <laughs> I feel good. How many are we making? As many as you can. You're timed. Oh, okay. What's the time? So, after this, someone is going to win this, mm -hmm. and then afterwards, for our next game, the winner gets to pick the sabotages for the losers. Oh, okay. 
So can I prep right now? No. Just like prep my workspace. So there is, if you win, you get to like mess up the other two in the next challenge. Well, why would I want to do that if people are going to eat these sandwiches? Why would I want to mess well, up? Well, the next, the next one is different. Oh, okay. The next thing's not it's, making it's sandwiches. It's not speed making sandwiches. Or is it? And you're just tricking us. No, 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 Dun, dun, dun. I would never, I would never, I would never. Four hams, one cheese? Two cheese, four ham. Two cheese, four ham. Four, and, and do they have to be like, does it have to be like ham, cheese, mayo, ham, both, ham, cheese? Both breads? If Jose were here, he'd be saying more mayo, more mayo. Inside. But down. Uh, like, in, inverted. I'm more of a face down, butt up kind of guy. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I need to get in the sandwich zone. Yes. Yeah. Okay, can you grab this stuff? Yep. Just so I have more room. I don't want to be, <laughs> I don't want to be ruined out the gate. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we have five minutes to make as many of these as we can. Yeah. Okay, you got it? Sandwich, mayo, two yeah, cheese, yeah, four ham. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay, wait, wait, wait. sandwich, may or does mayo go on both slices or just one? Both, both. Both slices, okay. More mayo, more mayo. Okay, Always and is there mayo. any sort of order to the ham? Am I going ham, cheese, ham, cheese, ham? Or is it just like four ham, two cheese? Two slice, mayo, cheese, four ham, smash it together, a sandwich, wrap in plastic, sticker, three, two, one, go! Where's the pla- oh, oh, whoa. Ooh. And they're off. <laughs> uh, how do I open this? You are gonna be judged very harshly. I'm already being judged, I'm on camera. <laughs> uh, okay. Get your bread off my side! I'm sorry. <laughs> How much mayo do you usually put on? A tablespoon? Two tablespoons? How's that? Nice. Woohoo! Yeah. I'm the man, baby. Oh, you're gonna start it like that? How do I. No, I'm just kidding. Stop! <laughs> go, 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 go! She said, go. Are you gonna you start it. it like that? <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, you should have stayed in the bit. I would have felt horrible <laughs> for that so long. Ham smell. This for you, chef. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, chef. <laughs> Yes, chef! <laughs> two cheese, four ham. Look at this. It's got an assembly line. Two, two cheese, four ham, right? Two this is what it's ham. all about. Oh, God. I'm Yo, yours was so I'm much smarter. Killing, killing it right it. now. Killing I am very uh, smart. Do you fold the ham? Fold the ham. Ooh. How do we ham? Are you just fold kinda... them individually? You're going to fold them Whoop. two by two. Oh, two like... by two? Ooh. Is, that, is that like the, the advanced technique? It be. Definitely a time saver. Oh, it is a time. Oh, my oh yeah, help Aaron. Oh, he's doing so good. <laughs> you can hear ancillarily what's happening over here. No, I can't. Yes, you can. My, you have ears. Get the ear biscuits out of your ears, dude, and start making sandwiches. In. Get wow. the sandwiches out of your ears. Get and the ham shut up. out of your ears. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, and then you just. <laughs> Invert it. Invert it? What do you mean? Butt is this in. one done? Oh, oh. Butt down, okay. Butt down. Oh, that's what you were talking Face about. sideways. You weren't talking about that one song. Point your knee slightly to the left. <laughs> Do we have one yet? I'm, I'm working on it! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I hate- How do I plastic? Plastic wrap is so- How do I plastic? Oh, it's off. I'll just... Oh, what kind of Australian plastic is this? <laughs> it's Australian? upside down. What are you talking about? It's yeah, back to front. What are you talking about? Nice. Do they really, is four pieces of ham four per pieces. sandwich? Just yeah. make the sandwich and don't judge. They're very large pieces. Can't have sticker. Okay, no sticker. and then, and then, sti and then so you use the sticker to seal the plastic, right? Thank you. Yep. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Oh, I'm at a disadvantage. This is sticker town <laughs> over here. Did you me? Oh yes. yeah, the stickers are gonna be <laughs> yes a real slowdown for you, huh? <laughs> yep. Uh, where does the finished ones go? I'll take it. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. One. Right. Sandwich two. Here we go. Here we go. Whoop. Got a system now. All right. Okay, we're halfway, guys. Halfway to oh, what? Halfway to what? We're done. <laughs> oh God. Halfway to the time being over? Okay. Yep. But I haven't even made two sandwiches. I haven't even made one. Oh well. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, well, when, when your one is done, it's like ten done. Yeah, it's gonna be done, nuts. Right? Yes. When this okay. drops. Don't say done right. You should say that's an excellent sandwich. <laughs> well, yeah. So it's cool gorgeous. that you made a beautiful. It's a perfect sandwich. It's my magnum opus. I hope not. Man, you got so much more in, inside of you than I really making. don't. All I have is sandwich in me. Well, not that sandwich making isn't a profound It's an art form. The world. But I, I have had sandwiches. Thank you, chef. Of course. I have had sandwiches that have changed my life and outlook on people. Oh, sandwiches are a whole vibe. One, two, three. Four. Wow. 
Oh. Judge him harder. <laughs> it's impressive. Oh, I think that's I... not, that's the opposite of what I said. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, I'm the gonna, plastic wanna... wrap, I didn't use enough to seal it with the sticker. So much ham. He's putting I... six pieces for. What? You, Who? you. No, this yes. is no, this is four pieces. Maybe you doubled up and you didn't realize it. Oh, oh what an three, idiot! Five. One, two, three, three, four. Four. Beautiful. Yeah, not six. One, two, three, oh, you're making four. like a whole assembly line thing going on there. Exactly. This one's four. Oh, that's so. They're smart. all yeah. Oh, that's still not enough. Freaking. One minute. Whoa, one minute, wait a minute, whoa, hey, whoa. One wait, minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait. We don't have a minute to wait. Wait, 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 wait. What time? Wait, wait, wait. I've never wait. seen this much ham in my life. Wait. Go, 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 Slow go. the time. Don't forget the love. Stop, count, stop the vote. Oh. oh no, I ripped it wrong. I got you. Wait. <laughs> you need I'm to gonna... calm the F down. Wait. <laughs> Uh, that's two, that's two. Go, um, go. Hold on! And two. There you go. Uh, nice. Yeah, baby. 20 seconds. 20 seconds! Go, 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 go. I'm about to, I'm about to, no. I'm about to finish the sandwich. They have to be wrapped. They will be, oh, they oh, will they'll be. be wrapped. Okay. Oh, more mayo! I believe in you. <laughs> you said double side on the mayo! Oh, yeah. Five, four, oh, three, oh, oh, two, two, one! <laughs> <laughs> Three sandwiches, baby! Nice. It's so down! <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Got three and three. Ooh, oh, we have a tie! Wow. Who did better, though? You got three? Who did better? I got three. Who did it better? Well, I put two stickers That's... on the last one, so. Oh, well. Oh, this is mine? Clearly, we have a winner. <laughs> I feel really bad for whoever got my sandwiches. Wait, I think Chef picked her winner. Oh, I got, I, two stickers. Two, two sti stickers. I, I could have put ten of those on. <laughs> it's the fl extra it's flare. It's two quality assured. <laughs> go, go, go. It was provided oh, by, provided by one. World. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you all right. I feel like there was a specific well, set get, of rules that you guys put out at the start of the day. <laughs> it's snowing plastic it over is. there. It is. We oh, no. don't want to get the plastic. Oh, you got a little. You got a little schmutz on this. <laughs> He's you determined. Got, you got a little schmutz on the table. Do you want some help or? Started out on great. Sandwich. <laughs> you want some? You want some help? No. I got my plastic wrap over here. I'll help you. I have extra plastic if you need it. Yeah, got you, it. Oh yes. You took it out of the box. How much time is left? <laughs> uh, Minus two minutes. Yeah. Hey, let me, Did let me, I win? Let me give you a little. If this is no. If this is, let's go ahead and just wrap this up real quick. Just get you get you going. You did great. They look fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm I, like, I will donate ten thousand dollars if you put another minute on the timer. Go back in time, and let me get the chance to ha execute my incredible plan and win. Okay, one minute. One minute is back on the timer, everybody. Oh my! Oh, I'll count this right. as mine since I finished it. Here we go. <laughs> this is what it's all about, everybody. Two stickers, you said? Wait, no, that was mine. No, no, no. no, no. Wait, wait. You were too busy yakking off. You stole. You, you wanted two my stickers. sandwich. Two stickers, you shall. I'll give you the whole roll of stickers. <laughs> Don't. I, I want to hit you so bad. But in the spirit of Christmas, I won't. Well, it's you, thank me. If you hit me. If you hit me, I'll just go into corpse pose afterwards, so you're good. <laughs> Euphoria. I don't know. How is this wrong? How is, how is this wrong? How is this so right? I don't know if one minute. How is this wrong? I don't know. How is this wrong? Your sandwich is getting burned yeah, and roasted over there. <laughs> how do I? That's five for Aaron. <laughs> oh, you're still going. Five sandwiches for Aaron. <laughs> hey! 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 Sandwiches. Them, that's great. <laughs> you lay off! That, that timer's not counting down in real time anymore. Seven, seven seconds. Seven seconds left. Delayed clock. Seven yeah. seconds. Do you have one sandwich yet? I have one. Seven, six seconds. Six seconds. Aww. That's Aww. disqualified. Oh, yeah, you don't, you, you don't have to it up. Your, your lips, dude. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> one for Mark. Can we put that on the board? Marco, one sandwich done, everybody! Go, Marco. But what was the quality of it? 
quality, I mean, that was right? A good looking sandwich. Thank you. It kind of had like it had goop all over. Who do you it. think wins now? If you can it's... see, my sandwiches have Everyone's been revised. A winner! Yay! <laughs> We're all losers. <laughs> you know who the real winners are? The people who are going to eat this. Hundred percent. Yes. Mm. You know who the real winners are everyone at home because they got high quality entertainment. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and if you want more high quality entertainment, go down in the description and donate. Heck yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're a natural. Thanks, man. Well, like... okay, judges, can you announce a winner? Yep. Chef. I w Dude, take your time. Like, already, really think did. it over. I feel like it was already announced, but yeah. we can say it again. It's fine. I, I, I like the really attention on me. Really think it oh, let's over. Cons yeah, let's you consider. consider. Yes. You should, like, really think about it. Where's the gloves? Can you get some hand sanitizer? Okay. Right? Where's the gloves? <laughs> okay. Where's the gloves? Okay, after... Uh, Careful consideration. <laughs> we have a winner, and it is Aaron. Yay! <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. So unexpected. I'm just going <laughs> to pretend I didn't hear you. <laughs> and we have another winner. <laughs> and we have another Woo! winner. No! <laughs> yeah. Somebody sabotages who? <laughs> I think huh? chat sabotages us. Huh? Who's? And what are we yeah. sabotaging? Are we going again? We're. I don't want to voluntarily, like... We're going to get... Okay, so what's going to happen is that the sabotages for the next game are going to happen through a donation poll. Okay. So we're going to put up some suggestions uh, in the, the donation. So if you guys want to pick one of them, you have to donate through that. So pick one of those. Those sabotages will be what the winner picks. No. <laughs> oh. Is that my sandwich? No. You eating my sandwich? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> you did a great job. Thanks. Well, that one wasn't ready. And we have a loser now. <laughs> oh! Yes, you are <laughs> so stupid! Oh, no. <laughs> I can make more if you want me to make more. We can make plenty more. Okay. We're going to have some sabotages for the next game in the polls. You're going to have to go donate there, pick whatever's going to happen, and then the winner of this game is going to pick what sabotages attach to what person for the next game. I just wanted to make sure that they were good for the people that are getting them. That's fair. Quality control. That's fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll go taste okay. test on Delicious. the couch. We're going to move back over to the couch while they clean this up for our next game. Oh. And we we're can not making sandwiches again? Oh, we are. Oh, okay, good. Because I felt like my sandwich making game is really, I'm really warmed up now. Us three here? Uh, us on the couch? Yeah. Do you have a preference? No. Your water. Oh, thank you. You can go over there. I was sick. Here. What? Oh, on the couch. Here. There. No, us three here. <laughs> so, thank you. How awful were we? I think the As entertainment a value was like, Making up for a little bit the technique. Yeah. I mean, you started out really strong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you had like five more minutes, it would have really paid off for him. Well, I don't 100%. think there's, there's no situation where it would need to be down to five minutes, right? There's not someone that's in front of me that is literally going to starve in five minutes if I don't get the sandwiches ready. So, in a real practical scenario. Wrong. Is that true? No, so, very specific example is 2019 in the Bahamas after Hurricane Dorian hit. We were making tens of thousands of meals every single day, so many sandwiches, but because the island of um, Abaco and Grand Bahamas was decimated, zero infrastructure for us to prepare food and cook out of, so we had to transport all food from NASA via helicopter. Air space was tight and very controlled, and so even I got yelled at on that one for being a little too slow. Wow. So yes, you definitely do encounter some scenarios. What's you never the, know what you're What's getting. the SPM of the average person in your that sandwich per sandwich minute. per minute? Sandwich per minute, minute. is nine. Nine? Per nine per person per minute. Per minute. You couldn't even get one in a minute. <laughs> I couldn't get one in Wait, five. We had you five should. minutes. Yeah, Wait, we, we should have got like there. forty plus sandwiches. I was done. gonna Please. get eight and five, but that's still I nine per minute. Nine. At least mine was close nine? to one SPM. Mine was like point six seven. Okay, so these people are doing nine per minute. What's their entertainment factor? Yeah, what's it, what's that? Mm -hmm. Their entertainment factor. So ours was off the Man. charts. Ours was like yeah. uncontrollable. 
Yeah. yeah, I think there's a, yeah, you you probably won in that, yeah. For sure. We really min-maxed our entertainment to sandwich, yeah. whereas yeah. they min-maxed our sandwich to I feel like our priorities right. were all over the place, but I had fun. This is a like really good sandwich. I like how you framed it, too. It wasn't like focus, it was like entertainment. Yeah, your yeah, entertainment was really high. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if we were focus on the, the factory line no. of making these sandwiches, we'd be a giant distraction. I think you put too much ham on this one. That's what I was asking. It seemed like a lot of ham. Everyone put the same amount of ham. Yeah, yeah that's drip. really important, though. I mean, for our meals, they're substantive, they're hearty. Protein. Because it could be, that that could be the one thing that you eat today. We right. don't know. Yeah, it's really for, good. For WSK, we'll come back later if we can, definitely the next day yeah. with more food, but it needs to be hearty, it needs to be, it needs what, to be really yeah, what, solid. What got you to that point? Like, I'm, I'm assuming you tried other sandwiches and tried to like figure out what like, the oh, value, that's a good question. value versus protein and nutrition versus speed, and yeah, like how did you end up on this one specifically? Accessibility, honestly, it changes too in different locations. So we try to be as culturally relevant. We we hire local people. We spoke right. to Yulia earlier, right? Hire local chefs who know the cultural, the culture and the cuisine. Yeah. Um, so you know, in Ukraine right now, sometimes warm, hearty soups are right. in fact our MREs mm. as opposed to. A sandwich, but you know, ease, accessibility. Um, they're easy to make, right? Oh yeah, and they're yeah. and they're delicious. Really I mean, delicious. look at this. Look at this. You get like a you get like a real sandwich. Can we get like a close up on the? I gotta say, also the entertainment that you guys that. put like, into the sandwich. That's a real I feel like sandwich, it's a right there. Energy transfer, like yeah. it may be a sandwich, but the love, the kit, like it's it's that's really what warms the souls yeah. of these people, right? Who are uh, so I felt like these guys were devoid of that love, <laughs> and um, I feel like I was just trying to make up for Fair. it. That's what slowed me down. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, the I feel care. Like, yeah. yeah it was like the the despair and sorrow radiating off from them. It was like a going upstream. Yes. With my the power of my love. Right. Sure. Yeah. Right. right. Good for you, man. Strong. You yeah. Strong. So proud of you. I think you all you. powered through. Yeah, I had a moment. I had already open invited you to any of our activations. <laughs> I was kind of questioning you're... that during the sound, but I think you, I think you no, all. No, I, I think my well, invite should be way. rescinded. <laughs> Absolutely. Is that does uh, what I did was a shameful display. You can like encourage them. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I thought it was great. When people start out, anything. are they like our level, or are they like a little higher, or a little lower, maybe? They're all levels. To make it best feel all. a little better about how we did. Maybe some of them start a little lower when they start. And then as they go, they get better. But like at the beginning, when they first start, they're like a little bit lower than what we did. Anybody and everybody can help on our activations. That said, sandwiches might not be for everybody. So oh. we might find another role. We might actually have you. So I could be a soup guy. You could totally be a soup guy. You could Funky. even be a community distribution guy. Ooh. Load up the vans, load up the cars, and then you know have the gift and the joy of of distributing. That's when the love comes in, because right. then I can I can. It's so here's the food and also the love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your What's your favorite thing to? Well, maybe not make is in general is a, a good way of doing it, but like through this, what's like your favorite thing to make and do and see like light up people's faces? Oh my God, I love this question. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, honestly, it's soups. Like I feel like it's something that you can produce in like mass quantity. Yeah. And it's something that you can use that doesn't have like really premium, pro it's not like a filet mignon. You can mm -hmm. take like a less expensive cut of meat yeah. and make a delicious broth. You know, you can get some sustenance um, out of that and it's a sustainable approach because I feel like you can, you know, kind of set it and forget it. Yeah. And um, I think they go a long way and they're healing and they're soul hugging. And so, I mean, that's like my vibe just in general, like how I approach food For sure. is just like that. It, it Like without sounding too like, I don't know, esoteric or whatever. It's like, oh, you can you can be as esoteric as you want. It's such an energy transfer, you know, because as chefs and as people who nurture others, we are, you know, a conduit of Mother Nature, our land. We're also sharing our craft and our love for cooking and our journey in life, you know. So yeah. I think those things really, you know, just offer a nice, um, a nice feeling for people. Yeah, because we were saying earlier, it's like the food is such a communal thing, and getting together and sharing food, and even back when before. <laughs> When we were all apes, as we were talking about, you know? I wasn't an ape. I was born a baby. Yeah, uh, baby human without a face. 
But I think that thing of like just sharing around a campfire and like having a warm soup. 100%. Mm. As Absolutely. an Irishman and the shepherds in the hills with their sheep and yes. sitting down eating their stew. To yes, that you painted the robust picture. Yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely. The body it's and the cozy. soul, right? Yes. Yes. Who doesn't love a good soup, man? Dude, who does exactly. not love a good soup? Mm -hmm. Like soup all of the soups. Soup is like a blank canvas. You can paint your soup. Oh my gosh, I love it. Absolutely. You can make whatever you want. Yeah, man. Everybody has a different flavor. Well, absolutely. what's your favorite? Ooh. I, I like a corn chowder. Ooh. Ooh. Or a, oh a nice, like, like broccoli soup. Mm. Mm. What, what, what about you? What's my favorite soup? Um, great question. I love them all. I am, have zero bias when it comes to soup. I, things I take into consideration, I feel like, are like, what season is it? Where right. am I in the world? Like, who am I with? Um, I love spicy soups, um, but when my parents were in town for Thanksgiving, my dad wanted a clam chowder, so I made like a really delicious clam chowder mm. with like fresh clams, and my nephew helped like, you know, he saw the fresh clam, you know, and that was like really cool for him to like see the like natural product. Um, but yeah, I love a spicy soup. I love like a chicken soup, just like oh, yeah. whole roasted chicken, throw it in a pot of water, vegetables, tear it up, like so easy. Classic. You that's, know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. my yeah. favorite. My mom makes chicken and dumplings, with like, oh. you know, just like that. A, yeah. Way too much garlic, sure. celery, yes. you know, and just simple dumplings. Oh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Eggs, the heck no, it doesn't. Yeah. That's what the thing. What is perfect? Wait, what? Exactly. The hell? My right, mom's well, you, dumpling. you said too much garlic. And I think I'm one like, of the first things I ever heard from you or mouth was about your mom's chicken and dumplings. Wow. Yeah. You cooked it for us one time for my birthday. I'll cook it for you again. Ooh. Yeah. It was very tasty. Cool. Yeah. You came over. I did? We all had it on Super Bowl birthday. Oh, yeah. That was a while ago. That was wonderful. Was like six, seven years ago. Wow. Yeah. Do you have a well, favorite soup? Um, I love, so soups are, remind me of fall and winter. Mm. So, like a good butternut squash mm. soup with like roasted garlic and all that. Anyone. Yeah. Mm. Good. Is gazpacho? Is that a soup? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I think if Jose were here, his favorite soup might be gazpacho. Mm. I have to say might be. Mm. I, I don't really know what sure. gazpacho is. Meat. I've never had gazpacho. Oh, it's it's like a so cold soup. A good one. Oh. Yeah, oh. it's like a cold soup. So There's good. bread that they soak in it to thicken it and oh. they and they like run it through a food mill. And um, yeah, it's kind of like um, yeah, a chilled tomato soup, basically. Mm. Mm -hmm. I do love, I, I do like uh, Korean stews. Same. Yeah. Oh my god, I love a Korean stew. Or Forget about it. Like dumpling. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. They, they, they have a cold, cold noodle too. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, very delicious. delicious. Very well, actually, I don't like the cold. Soup. I'm not a big fan of the cold too. Like, yeah. Among... Like when I when I go over to Korea, uh, there's a kamchatang, which is. Um, it's like just spine soup, yes. and it's yeah. just like the meat on the spine. It's delicious. It's a spicy yes. broth. Super too. delicious. Yeah. yeah. Like oxbone yeah. soup. That oh they have my well. gosh. It's yeah, delicious. my grandmother's from Korea. She was the first person to teach me how to cook, mm -hmm. and we'd make a lot of kimchi jjigae with the older kimchi that she'd make, and ah, oh, it's just know. soul hugging. There's nothing yes. quite yeah. like proper Korean kimchi. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. It's well, good. our poll is like just about to be done, so it's hard reading because it's filled in. Mini hands. Must wear Mini oven mitts hands. was the top one. Mini hands? Mini hands. Mm -hmm. And then, for, okay, so the top two, I guess you're our winner then. What? No, <laughs> no, it got switched because I started eating a sandwich. We'll just that say took away my win. We'll just say you're the winner. Okay. Mark and I work better under strife. What? So you get to pick the top two poles. So mini hands, clearly a winner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And wow. then I think that bottom one is Arg the next one. eye patch. That's the next one, yeah. So you get to pick who does either of those. You get to pick who's mini hands and who's eye patch. Mark's mini hands, your eye patch. It's because I'm a pirate accent, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a good pirate accent. Let's hear it. Oh, hi. <laughs> Did you say like a sentence? Sen uh, oh, this is a sentence. <laughs> I'm saying a sentence. All right, eye patch for Mark. Ah, Any see? For you. Oh, there come you on, my hands are already mini. Well, look at the size of my hands, they're tiny. Then you'll, then you'll have an advantage. Aww. It's about the same size. Damn it. Okay, mini hands for me. You know what they say about a guy with small hands? He makes great sandwiches. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's head back over. Ooh, our other chef is here. Wait, am I also making these? You're all together, yes. Okay. I should so, probably change my gloves because I got ham sandwich all over them. What we're going to be doing this time. Hi, nice to meet you. Antonio. Antonio, nice, nice to, to meet you. Whoa, hold on. Hi. 
Yep. There Thank we go. You. <laughs> nice to meet you, nice Aaron. Are those the gloves still from the other sandwiches? No, it was fresh gloves. That oh, I, they were just I don't fresh. know why. We'll, we'll sanitize and glove up again. Um, um, oh. Welcome to the station again. Thank you. Um, you have like a. a Are we saying goodbye? Not yet. No. Okay, I was wondering. Can I give you a big hug, please? What is? Oh what my gosh! There's so much stuff. Okay. Happy holidays. So, yeah, George. We'll explain it a little further as well, and you guys can walk us through what a perfect sandwich is. I thought this was a condom, and then I just realized it's an eye patch. Well, it could it's, be. It's kind of like I an eye condom. Better. I think it would be a bad one. <laughs> yeah, it protects you from all that light that's coming in, you know? Right. It's an right, eye right, condom. Right. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to be doing here is making really great sandwiches, or artisanal sandwiches. Oh my goodness. Are we so, just kind of doing it ourselves? We have like 30 minutes for this one, right? What? So we, we get up to 30 minutes. Up to right. 30 minutes. Dude, I'm going to be done in like three minutes. We'll have like 20 minutes, and then we'll have time to chat afterwards. 10 minutes, oh God. Why do you look like you're ready for surgery? Because I'm he trying is. to be clean. <laughs> there is, I, yeah. I, when, dirt, I dirtalized my hands before and it, it was bad. Do you and everything went did wrong. Did you say you dirtalized your hands? I didn't say anything. I don't know. Do you, you can probably, everyone can probably put their hands down. Okay. Because making sandwiches. Mm. But it makes us look professional. You are, you're wearing the eye patch? Apparently. Do you want me to open this for you? I can do it. You I'm sure? Just, no. Okay, there you go. Are, <laughs> do you have like a preference on the eye? Is it gonna be your left eye or your right eye? That's a good I, question. I thought so. What eye am I? I, I, I have to make sandwiches with mini dominant. hands. Oh, that one. You didn't even give me flat hands. <laughs> yeah, you should use the fist. Yeah. This is. They're, it's good for gripping. You took out the opposable thumbs. Yeah. How am I supposed to make sandwiches with this? I don't know, man. You're the one who lost. Well, you also can choose what finger you use those on too. So, if, like, if you want to use them on your thumbs or your pointer, or like one thumb, one pointer finger. I'm just saying, there's options of fingers. You're you're the winner. You decide. This is my punishment for being so bad at life. You should put them both on ring fingers, so you have like zero control. It's like eating a pickle. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I'm ready to make sandwiches. Wait, are you using the rest of your hand? No. I have. Mm -mm. No! You can only use, your, you can only only use the mini hands because, <gasps> in theory, the mini hands actually have all five fingers of the hand. True. True. So yeah, so I, I make sandwiches away. like this when I make sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> so you've chosen your ring finger and your middle finger, or both ring fingers. He chose them for me. Mm. I chose them for him. Yeah. It was a little, it was a little rude. I'm not gonna. Oh lie. man! Like I can't even make a sandwich. He gets to look all cool. <laughs> yeah, look <laughs> how cool I look. <laughs> it is on upside down, but I was trying it before. I wasn't sure if it was. I, it was originally the other way. It is, uh, but and uh, you know, you could also ask him to maybe like talk in sort of a pirate. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do the pirate don't voice. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm all over it. Pirate voice, I'm all over it. I don't know like, what, what the, the terminology what are you, is. the lead singer of Gogol Bordello? Who's that? <laughs> okay, so essentially you have up to 30 minutes, okay, to make an artisanal sandwich, whatever that means to you, right? Because okay. it could be as simple, as simple as peanut butter and jelly. Um, but then you've got a lot of really great products that are up here, right? I mean, there's <laughs> the ketchup, mayonnaise, marmite, mustard, uh, like some pickled. Ooh, marmite. Um, fried chicken. Fried chicken? Fried chicken. There are two of those if you need it. Red onion. And avocado, but behind you, which you don't even see, that's like off here. There's oh my god, cheese and Swiss cheese and all these different kinds Spinach. of herbs. Colby Jack, you can start pulling everything out if you want to see any yep. of it. Maybe just like lay it out on the floor. There's romaine lettuce. A couple different kinds of bread, a whole wheat bread. There's wraps. There's spinach wraps that are over there. Lime, lemon juice, good old fashioned American cheese, spinach. Um, Marshmallows so, and candy canes because. So you're like, going to be judging these. I mean, we judge everything in general, in life. You're being That's judged right now. Yeah. Yeah. So the sandwiches, yeah. Okay, cool. How, how much have you judged us as a group <laughs> since you met us? <laughs> Don't um, ask that question. No, I think that you guys are just amazing already. <laughs> yeah, they killed it last round. Thank you. Oh, then, we, we, we killed it all right. <laughs> there's a panini press here, and there's a panini press there. They're both very hot, so be careful. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know. Should we do, do? Is there anything else in there that you want to see or pull out before we Are do? Are we like, not allowed to get it later? I'm, I'm, That's not 30 minutes. Yeah, we have 10 minutes because we went over. Wait, really? It's okay. Yeah. We only have 10 minutes? No, it's okay. We got 30, actually. 10 minute timer. Ready, set, go. No, that, no we have oh. 30. What? Where do you see no, 30? we have 30 minutes. No, we have 10. Okay, she said, ready, set, go! Oh, okay. Go, 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 go! Knives? Yeah, here we go. Oh. Yeah, there's knives, there's Behind? spatulas. Behind? Oh, sure. There's I, I'm thinking a lot of things. 
to be sad. You can't use your fingers. Does it need I want to make like a good like. Does it have to be what? Dragged and seal. Nice. Like a light. Do we have any like yes. peppers? Yes. Bagged and sealed. Light, delicious. Like yeah. bell peppers? Yeah, there's, bana there's banana peppers over here. You got jalapeno slices. Well, I can also yeah. do anything Like a tiny bit there. of spice. Yum. Some like What's salsa. A oh, salsa. Yum. Or some sort of like tomatoey. Sriracha's good? Yes. Avocado. Yeah. Chipotle. Just like a nice like Mexican. I'm, I'm, I'm reluctant to say it's a Mexican one because yeah. I might mess it up and insult an entire nation of people. Um, Your interpretation. Yes. <laughs> The Irish Mexican rap. <laughs> Lovely. You heard it here first. Are you going cold wrap, warm wrap? Oh, oh, bread. Dough. I feel like if I try and go warm, it's going to get cold by the time I'm done. Okay. No so, panini press. I uh, know. I'll, I'll go cold. This. Okay. Um, this it's is cilantro. This is cilantro. <laughs> You're so good. The voice like is like sour everything cream right now. Sour cream. In a past life, I was an eight foot tall pirate. You have eight minutes and 40 seconds, said pirate. Okay. Um, More than enough. You know, we'll just, where's our like ketchup mayonnaise? Uh, right down here. So here's your, oh, sorry. Oh, never mind. He needs that. Oh, that's ketchup mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. That's already mixed for you. Yeah. He just gave you a I need all little the help mini, I can get. mini hand middle finger. Uh, okay, so, so when we talk to me, uh, Pirate, about um, what you are oh, going to be, I see Colby Jack, yes. a little bit of ham. Oh, here's a, a bacon. This I wish there was something other than ham. <laughs> but alas, on the sea, okay. young have so much to milk. Okay. Put in your okay. ship stores. I need my cook. I'll hold this, make a little room for you. Do you need the romaine lettuce? I know not from whence that came. <laughs> What bread are you choosing? What type of? Is there an option? There's uh, this whole wheat here. And I see nothing else. I'll go with whole wheat. Wait, oh, here, there's Reminds me of whole. You have sourdough. I'll go with whole wheat. <laughs> Reminds me of home. <laughs> Where would that be? The sea. <laughs> ah, the wheat fields of the Indian yeah, exactly. Ocean. Have you ever seen it? Nothing more beautiful. Yarr. That be it. Uh, this Pirate. does not open. Uh, I yeah. Sam's working you out got, like this whole not like, great. spinach, mayonnaise, yeah, he said it's going to be juice. great. What, what, ooh, that's a new technique. Uh, don't do this at home, Ever. folks. Ever. I know we talked <laughs> about... Use your teeth as a tool. I know we talked about edibility, but you're supposed to eat the packets. Oh, this thing would get off. Okay. So, Naisha, what would you think, like, for, as far as a sandwich is concerned, that makes up, like, a great sandwich? Like, ratio of bread to meat to yeah. condiment to... Love. Of course, we learned that. that I don't is have gloves. Love uh, where's my gloves? It you is need about okay. a balance of what lettuce, am I using a vegetable, right? What style of protein? I think uh, building around, you know, what protein you're using is going to dictate what bread. Is it a wrap? Is it sourdough? Am I toasting this? Is it hot? Is it cold? Right? Because different lettuces lend well to temperature, right? Exactly. We, no one wants a soggy Spinach. iceberg lettuce. No soggy bottoms. Right? No soggy bottoms. No soggy bottoms, 100%. Um, so yeah, how about for yourself? Um, so I'm I'm a big fan of like balance of like flavor and texture in yes. my sandwich. So I love, you know, uh, having sort of like a creamy base, whether it's avocado or mayonnaise or even a mixture of avocado and mayonnaise. And then something like pickles or even um, banana peppers or pickled jalapenos. So it lends to like acidity and to a little bit of salt, vinegar, crunch. Um, and I agree, I think that, you know, with any good sandwich, the, the, the vehicle in which that protein and vegetable gets into your mouth, i.e. the bread or the, the spinach wrap, um, is so important. That's interesting technique that we've got that's happening there. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, absolutely. And then, of course, like, how much meat is on it? Is there any cheese? Totally. Where's the vegetation coming from? And then, and then concept. Like, I, heard, I love what I heard down there. Like, there, there was this sort of, like, Irish... Latin or Mexican flavored like concept because I think the concept. personality right, exactly yeah that looks like well, a personality kind of, uh, like Russian dressing or a or a Thousand Island dressing something like that yes in desperate times you you make do with what you have <laughs> I'm still interested to know about the spinach mayonnaise situation that's happening there what oh no it, it was just an easy way to I just didn't want the spinach to fall out so I just incorporated the spinach with the and then I'm making like a little sort of aioli kind of thing going on. Yum. Is this a sandwich you've made in the past? 
Uh, no, I'm, I'm just put these down because you don't need them. Swinging it. Oh, nice. were you holding that for me? Well, it's all good oh, food. I apologize. 100. It all tastes. Oh, good. I'm sorry. Do you want the Colby so Jack cheese something from you That's some mozzarella. Uh, yes. See, that's I'm keeping next a clean kitchen list. as well. Very much. I've so. learned that when I cook, it's good to have a bowl around to get rid of my waste Trim. pieces. Totally. So I don't. And those are the things that make a great uh, soup. You I can save all that. Stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Everything's usable. 100. percent can't mix the hot with the cold Fresh or something nuts. like that. Mm. Tomato. Ooh, no, that's great. Uh, Mixing the hot with the cold is awesome. Sauce. Do we actually know it's become more of an improv sandwich. <laughs> I feel Do like I've, much cooking? I've, I'm I've I'm I try to, pirate. but <laughs> Never it's usually I go in with a plan instead of improv. Born in the sea, raised in the sea, all day in the sea. You have four minutes left. Four. Oh, four. Yeah, a little over four minutes. Oh no. Oh, you have the monster. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to figure no, out what so protein to yes. I would like like a rotisserie I'm, chicken. That's yes. My last. Well, I think are, all we have is fried, fried chicken. chicken. Yes. You've yeah. got to cut down. Whoa. Also have oh, sorry. Ham. You're going to you're going to pick the chicken? I guess a ham would do. Nice. Same thing. I'm making like a What what is what's that salad called? Caprese. Caprese. Caprese salad. Thank you. I'm so glad you knew what I meant. <laughs> that means I'm doing a good job because yes. I have the I have the bones of it. <laughs> So you're going vegetarian, or are you gonna pull? A little, we're getting a little. Oh, we're we're going ham. Oh. Ham to pray say. I would love some like serrano ham or like pastrami or like. Very Irish uh, Latin. Very <laughs> Irish Latin. The, the caprese yes. drop. Yes. Yeah. All over Mexico. Hundred percent. Oh yeah. Um, you know it's kind of amazing that we have it here in the center. When was the last time you had Munster cheese? Oh my God, a hot minute. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's I been love a while. Munster cheese. I love Where? Munster cheese. Yeah. It's so underutilized. Right yeah. Where be the bacon? Oh, you had it here. Wait, hold on, hold on, Steph. Don't, 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 don't scream. The bacon. Stop yelling. Screaming. I'm not yelling. <gasps> Wait, where is it? <laughs> I normally took the bacon. Where be the bacon? I didn't even see any bacon. I didn't Straight know we had bacon. There it is. There oh, it is. interesting. Whew. It was like a pirate meltdown. No, no, um, you, you haven't seen a pirate <laughs> meltdown. Last time there was a pirate meltdown. Well, you don't want to see a pirate meltdown. <laughs> it's called a shipwreck. Uh. <laughs> so he's got the Munster cheese, the mayonnaise, spinach mixture, and oh, two and a half minutes. So far, thank to you. Take the fried chicken out of the bag and pick the fried chicken. Wow, I know. I love a good cold leftover fried chicken sandwich. I had one for breakfast this morning. <laughs> My sister made fried chicken. It was delicious. <laughs> I'm cutting this up because you're not saying that you're you know, smart. Sandwich. You know when you get like a bite and then you have to like split the ham. I'm not worried. Crap goes everywhere. You're, the intentionality in this Ooh. is going to be spectacular. It's like I always get it when I get pizza. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Like massive slices really of know. salami, and I'm like, that's amazing. Shit, but so just, just about two minutes left. Are we thinking a sauce? We I have some mayonnaise, ketchup under it. Okay. But like, oh, it's going in the like if you were making my sandwich. Like, what sauce would you add? I like that. You can I think that's good. To like weigh it down. No, I'll burn okay. my fingers. Okay. Yeah. Real dedication to the sandwich making. Yeah. And it's smart thinking about this how the sandwich is So question, yeah. does everyone I, have plates ready to go? Uh, we, have we have plates here. over here. We have plates here. Okay, just checking. I'm, I'm like a, a texture person. Yes. And I hate when like I'm eating something and the sauce gets all over my hands and all over my face. Smart to use the tortilla as a I, vessel. Yeah. What do you guys win? Pride. Just. The love of the people. <laughs> Subscribers. Chicken salad sandwich. Yes, mm -hmm. I like where this is going. I'm the fried chicken went into the spinach mayonnaise. Is there hot sauce in there? I'm just asking. Just a just a touch. I mean, just a touch. Nice and I like to be sort of. Anything else with I can add? I love a spicy you know, sandwich. Yeah, One minute, one chefs. Second. I got really nervous okay. when you said that. I know. <laughs> I was like, Travis. Yeah. Yeah. The cooking competitions we've done over our life. He was like, one minute. I was like, yeah. what am I making? Where's my plate? Exactly. <laughs> oh my God, with minutes on the clock, you've got spinach, romaine, and arugula. Are we getting a side salad? Wow. Yes, yes. <laughs> Couldn't be a meal without a side salad. So we're gonna, it's like soup in a sandwich. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. You know what I really you? love is the attention think, to detail of I the salt and pepper. Done. Like the fact that you're doing a little salt and pepper to the Munster cheese. In between each, In yeah. between, like the layering <sighs> of seasoning. Oh, look at the two wow. garnish at the end. Um, wow. It's just about like, you know. You're cutting in half, leaving whole. Wow, I don't even whoa, know it is. beautiful. Because you we heard finished? us say that we like Munster cheese. 15 I seconds! Cheese is actually one of my favorites. Playing. 10! Smart, playing to the 9! Hurry, hurry, 8! Eight, hurry, eight, eight, 7! It's fine, I got it! It's fine! 4! Three, Don't cut it in ten! It's a one! one. Ah, oh my god, look at it. It was I, perfect before. It was oh. fine. Okay, wonderful, beautiful. 
You want a plate? Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, you have a plate. <laughs> Good yes, job, Jeff. Yes. Should we eat these? You made a wrap. I did. Yes. Should we eat these? It's the Mediterranean. <laughs> Thank you. Um, are Let's we gonna, maybe are we gonna move over to the to the? Air I believe so. Yeah. Where should we present our sandwiches, Alex? Wow. That was scary. Slash exciting. It was like right okay, time, we're, we're going to start one by one. Uh, Mark, if you want to step, there's a mark on the ground over there. If you want to step into the middle and you can present your sandwich to camera. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Long ago. <laughs> when I that was, was exciting. Baby, I learned from an old sailor who came into town. It was an ominous night, dark storms brewing on the horizon. But they hadn't hit yet. Shut up. No, I'm adding an ambiance. Yeah, we ah! like, that was like the ocean. And for some reason, as a child, I wandered out onto the dock and I stared mm -hmm. out into the sea. And in the distance, there was a sail just peering over the horizon, but not white, pure black, and a flag above it, with a skull and crossbones. And in they came into our harbor. No alarm was raised. No one made a sound. Silent as it cruised across the sea. But on it came, not making a wave. And when it docked, out came a gangplank. <laughs> slammed at my feet in front of me. Uh. And all I could hear was the sound of two wooden peg legs stomping, thundering down the gangplank. I looked up and up and up Ooh. and up. And I saw him. Captain Magnum. Hello. <laughs> the tallest pirate I ever seen. Very tall. Then and ever since. And he leaned down. Looming over me with his two eye patches. Oh, two. And he pulled out of his pack this. Ooh. It's a sandwich, isn't it? <laughs> and I took it with well, shaking hands, not knowing what else to do. Shake, shake. And not knowing that I had made a promise to him, a oh, pact. It's on these peg legs. I sold my soul for this. And I've been doomed to recreate it ever since. Such a good story. Mm. I'm assuming that's the end. Chapter two. <laughs> there I was. Uh. Does, does it have a name? Hmm? Does it have a name? The, the silent sandwich of the sea. Oh. That's a good one. I, Here I, there be uh, a panini. <laughs> Eat it then and feel the glee. Oh. But don't tarry, you should flee. <gasps> All will be laid to waste it be. Ooh. Will it be you that Die, or will it be me? Oh. The end. <laughs> Epilogue. Yeah. So we say. Uh, well done. Hey, Aaron, would you like to present your sandwich? Oh, sure. Yeah, am I going oh, there yeah. and Thank you, the Pirate Mark. Thank you. Oh, you can do whatever you want. Okay. Watch out for the salad. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, a little collateral damage over here. Uh, hi. Uh, my name's Aaron. Uh, I, oh, this one. Oh, this one. Hi, hi. My name's Aaron. Hi, Aaron. I ma thank you. Hi. <laughs> I, I made a sandwich. Um, I, I thought everybody would just be like layering ingredients on, so I thought I'd, I'd go a little bougie and make a little chicken salad because uh, there was a fried chicken, and I thought that was pretty interesting. So I chopped up some um, spinach, and I also added a little lime juice and salt and pepper, obviously. Wow. Uh, some sriracha in there for a little kick. Um, I think there was something else I put in there. Uh, yeah, just a little bit of paprika for like a smoke, um, and then the Munster cheese, and I and I toasted the, it's, as best I could, I toasted the bread um, so that it has kind of like a nice texture to it. The end. <laughs> Thank you. Chapter two. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. Good luck. Good luck out there. All right, how you doing? Name's Charlie Lonnet. Made a wrap. It's got mozzarella in it, uh, spinach, ham, love, pride, a little bit of me in it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> if you want a sandwich that's going to be in you, gross. it's got to be, it's not gross. No, it's not gross. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful little sandwich, isn't it? This is the kind of sandwich that you want to take home on a Friday night after you've had a few pints. <laughs> when you're out in the pub with your friends and they're like, oi. Terry, I saw your missus yesterday, and he's like, don't even talk to me. <laughs> this is the sandwich for you. Actually, a wrap, forgot that. 
I'm a big man about textures, mess, food waste. You want to bore into it and then not have it go everywhere. You want your, you want your wrap to go in your belly, not on your face. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Can I get another one? Amen. Thank you. That was actually free. What? Vote for me is a vote for victory. Yeah. I've got toothpicks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are they voting? Are they voting okay. for no. the winner? Oh. They're, our chefs are going to judge us. We're going to eat it. Oh. Ah. I wouldn't eat it <laughs> if I were you. Just make it an aesthetic competition, you know? No, you can eat mine. Yeah, mine's really edible. Is yours not edible? What's in it? What's in it? You didn't just put rocks in it. It's stuff. love, spinach. Uh, I went through it already. Okay. <laughs> I, I'd like to eat it. Okay, you can try it if you want, yes. Okay. <laughs> You'll die first. <laughs> you will be the first to go. Okay, do you, do you want to try it? I think we should try it. Okay. Yeah, it's just the whole point of this thing. He's so really I being hesitant about okay. it. Okay, I don't know what's in some it. Let's have everyone come front and Did center. Did you put your hand on, the, 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 hand, the baby hand on it? Maybe, we, maybe not with the baby hand. No. Oh, I, sorry, I thought the baby hand was there. No, no. I, they're small, but they're not that small. Okay. <laughs> okay, who would you guys like to eat first? We don't see. Wow, I've never Whose sandwich breakfast? would you like to eat first? <laughs> No, thank you for being more specific about I, I, I didn't want somebody to just like cannibalize someone else on stream. I mean, I think we just go, what do you, right from, left to left? Yeah, left right to here, right. right here. I mean, you just happen to follow oh, yeah, mine sure. here, so do you mind if I take a bite of this? Please. It was really funny, as he was uh, describing it, did you notice he was like looking inside, he's like, <laughs> oh, yeah. inside the sandwich, I forgot. <laughs> no, no, I remembered, I just, okay. I just like to look at things when okay. I say things. I'm a say visual things. learner. Yeah. You're so, don't be scared. <laughs> he wants his sandwich to be so good. Yes, Jeff. He does, he feels, he feels connected to it. I can feel it. So what do you, what do you think? I have to swallow first. Okay, yeah. <sighs> hmm. Lots of layer of flavor. I think what you, I- You can be mean. Oh, no, no, we will be. Here's yeah, let's start out nice. I'm gonna start, we like to do, how about a this? A sandwich. A sandwich. <laughs> A positive, negative, positive sandwich. The recipe, okay. famous sure. recipe yeah, yeah, yeah. for judging. Yeah, wow. go ahead. You guys so, are so good at this. So I'm gonna go with um, the texture of the chicken first. Uh -huh. I love that you went for the fried chicken because it's something that I think all chefs would have went for. Some leftover, like, room temperature fried chicken in a sandwich is a brilliant go-to. Sure. Um, I love that you went for it with the mayonnaise. Like, there's a lot of mayonnaise on here. Got it. I, I feel like that's more of a we're not there, we're getting compliment. We're getting closer <laughs> okay. to it. So, like, chicken, excellent flavor. Mayonnaise, great choice, but I think that we could have pulled back a little bit with too the mayonnaise. Too much mayonnaise, got it. Too much mayonnaise. Um, I think that where you went, um, I love the addition of the spinach. Spinach was great. Great. We didn't need to cut it. Why cut it? Oh, because right? I just like chopped spinach. No, no, I get it. I'm but now it. it's lost. Oh, okay. And oh, all I because you wanted the texture of the spinach. I wanted to feel the spinach. Okay, yeah. This is more just like, what is this green stuff? Yes, right? yes, chef. Um, then the Munster, so underutilized. Oh. Love Munster cheese. Yeah, yeah. Don't really understand the name, but un love the flavor of it. Um, and I, I think you should have went for the 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 toasting of the bread. I kind of wanted to melt it. Yeah. Yeah, because I, just I didn't mean, have time. the little. I know. The, there's like little pieces here of like crunch that I'm getting, yeah. but then all of a sudden like very very soft in other areas. Yeah, you yeah. Know? But overall, conceptually, A plus. That, well, wow, A yeah. plus after all that, just. <laughs> A plus. I'll hold you and you guys. What's the scale sure. go to? <laughs> S double S, triple S plus. So I really appreciate the idea of sustainability in this sandwich, right? You're taking something that's left over and you're repurposing it into a new creation. That Great. is A plus that creativity. That is nothing about the taste of it. We'll start with the positives, and that is a beautiful a approach. <laughs> exactly. Um, for me, I think um, I would have loved uh, a little bit more texture, right? Oh, okay. Because the sandwich reads really soft, right? Yes, I yes. see these beautiful grill marks, I get excited, and I go in for it, and it, my palate is immediately overpowered with the amount of sort of uh, Mayo Mayonnaise. or some, yes, mustardy. Yeah. I'm getting this kind of yellow mustard yeah. flavor, and I saw that you used the hot sauce and the paprika. I, want, I wanted more of that, okay, right, yeah. to really highlight the fried chicken. Um, and again, yeah. the spinach, right, very smart approach to add some freshness, but it does, however, get lost in the amount of mayo that's on the sandwich. Sure, yeah. Don't be, this is our life, this happens to us every day. <laughs> 
But overall, great effort. You should bite the other end of that A so plus. that you feel strongly, like, so that you understand what it is that we're saying. Me now. Yeah. Okay. I think it's always important for you guys to, like, try your own food. So Aaron, you know. Aaron, you've been judged. Come on. You've been judged. This is like a sandwich. You've I'm been judged? This and I'm going to cut it in half. You did good. What's the yeah, name of your sriracha, sandwich? Man. The Silent Sea Sandwich of the Sea. Silent Sandwich of the Sea. Yes. Go ahead. I'll, I'll go. Hard to cut with one eye. I understand. Oh, yeah, it must be real tough. Yes. Go ahead, tell us about it. Well, cutting with one eye means you lack depth perception. So when you're trying to thrust, you don't know how to gauge far your enemy. Hmm. Very far. Talk about it. <laughs> okay, so last time I was engaging an enemy who got on my ship, and I was like, avast, and I stabbed, but I lacked the depth perception to be able to perceive him. Mm. And he pulled out a pistol, and I was like, that's cheating. But he was like, it's not, we're pirates. And I was like, well, you're kind of a dick of a pirate. If I'm going to be perfectly honest, if I have to die to you, it's kind of embarrassing. And he went, well, how do we make it fair? And then I whipped out my portable hand cannon, and I went, I Totally sucker. understand. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, hand so, mm. it. How does that translate to the sandwich? Well, I'm so getting what, to it. What I heard was Colby Jack cheese, ham. Oh, the some, sandwich. Yeah, some it's silent. Yeah. You don't talk about it. Um, this is a very meat forward sandwich. Mm. There is a lot of meat on this sandwich and a lot of different textured meats, right? Um, we've got a great amount of like thinly sized ham. Then there's that pre-cooked bacon, which I've never had before in my mm. life. Thank you for giving that to me. Of course. Uh, I love the double cheese, the cheese on the bottom and cheese on the top. I thought it was smart because it went into the panini press and it did melt. Obviously, there's been a lot of conversation, so it's not as melty as it was, but I can really attest to the melt factor that was there before. Mm. Um, the best part of the sandwich is that uh, pickle ketchup mayonnaise, should I say, thousand, thousand Island dressing that you put on there. Is there too much meat? Maybe. The answer is yes. That's for you the to decide. Is. That's You're for judging. you at home to decide by the look of the sandwich. And I'm confused about the salad. I like the fact, I wish this, the lettuce was on the salad because it's like meat, 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 meat. I love a little like reprieve, like a little bit of, um, uh, what's the word? Reprieve. Reprieve. Like, uh, uh, you know, I have somewhere with a palate to go. The pace of your sandwich was shit. It really is a choose your own adventure of a meal. It totally is. You can put as much uh, of the green as you want on it because each separate is not its own entity, mm. but only mm. by combining it. Just like sailing on the sea, when you combine the experience don't, don't, of a ship full of handsome men and don't, you just love just... to feel the motion of the waves at this. Hmm? So also, the, the, I like the, and I, I might steal this actually from mm. you, this arugula, spinach, romaine mixture. You can't. <laughs> I won't allow it. <laughs> it's pirate's treasure. It's pirate's treasure. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I love a sandwich that has meat and cheese, right? I mean, this is like standing on its own. It's, it's giving me exactly what I want. There's not. This is not vegetable forward, right? There's not that lettuce and tomato. It's it's almost reading like um, like a ham Food lovers, like a melt, yeah. right? You know, like a grilled cheese um, kind of diner vibe to it, which I appreciate. And I have to say, great execution on the toast element. It's giving a lot of texture, as Chef Antonia mentioned. There's it's. Um, sort of softer inside, it's meat forward, so the texture of the bread is really a beautiful contrast. And I actually appreciate that you didn't overdress the greens. At all, right? didn't it's, dress them at it's all. It's very honest approach. Pepper can be a dressing. <laughs> yeah, the pepperiness the pe yeah. is bringing out the pepper in the arugula, and so that is an amazing sort of bite and journey for my palate to go on. Um, I would have just pulled back maybe a few slices on the meat and the cheese, right, to balance out the amount of bread, mm, or use no. a thicker slice of bread. I was debating doing a double decker mm. because I didn't want to put the pickle in the press. To, I don't like, I like cold pickle. You don't like, like to press your pickle? No. Yes. Warm pickles are good. According to who? Well, not me. Or like, a, not a, it doesn't have to be cold, cold. Mm. Here, you should eat your sandwich though now. Mark, oh. you have been judged. Well, I didn't get a Great letter. Great job. Congratulations. Thank you. What would you grade his? We're not there yet. Okay. Why would you grade his? <laughs> Um, uh, bony appetite. 
Do you want to like? Well, do you want? Do, well, or we could like um, Lady in the Trampet. Oh my goodness, cute. <laughs> you bite See, mine mind. has the fun factor Wait. to it. One. Mine's a couple sandwich. Careful, she's delicate. I'm just. Go ahead, you bite first. She's delicate. Mm. Did you get anything? Yeah, some sauce. You did? Yes. Sauce is good. How's it about the It's. <sighs> It's sort of like a comfort thing. Mm. You know, I was thinking, I was like overthinking it in the beginning, thinking, oh, I need to have all these amazing flavors to tie together. And then I just start seeing things I liked. Mm. And then I just put it in. And like I said, I hate a mess. So I like a thing that I can just eat, wolf down, get a big bite, fill my belly. I'm a busy man. Makes Everyone's sense. busy. It's the, it's the busy boy is what I call it. You call this the busy boy? Yeah. Like, oh my God, I'm on the run. Let me just throw everything into a wrap and go. Yeah. Mm. And Smart. then it's offset by the irony that the flavors are not that busy. Very direct. Yeah, I made that up right now. And the, the, the sauce is? Uh, it's from our previous challenge. It's ketchup mm. and mayonnaise mixed together because I couldn't pick which one and I like mm. both. It's mm. like a continuity. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like a burger sauce, you know? You want, you want to take this one first? Yeah, well, you Tear know. Tear me apart. Tear yeah. me apart like this wrap. I will start with the amount of focus and dedication that you had in creating this was really beautiful to watch. I am very focused. You did, you you brought it to life, right? You can really see your creative process uh, in real time. So uh, thank you for that. Um, I really appreciate the simplicity of this wrap. You you know you didn't you know try to. Uh, square peg round hold this. This is a very honest, straightforward approach to uh, your take on a sandwich, right? You didn't go the traditional route of using a sliced piece of bread. You, you made what a What is a sandwich, really, you know? Sure. The question comes up constantly. Constantly. Do you think a painter goes up with his brush and is like, what is art? Well, you everyone's like, is a hot dog a sandwich? Right. Is right? Something, it's something put in a pita a sandwich? 100%. Right. Yeah, and I think it's up to the artist who's making that sandwich, right? Um, I appreciate the freshness, and and uh, what else do I appreciate? I love the salt factor in the ham. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that oh, yeah. Really to the fresh tomato, and um, I really respect the approach of the vessel, right? I, too, love a contained, sealed up package yeah. that I can go and, and on the uh, go. go on the go. Yeah, and the so, busy boy. Yes, the busy, the busy boy. boy. Um, so I was worried about the busy boy. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I'm going to start with why. Because normally these wraps, right, if you don't warm them to a certain degree, when you actually try to do said wrap, they crack. And they don't hold everything inside. So choosing this I thought was really, really smart. Really smart. The other thing that I like, so what I like to, the word that really comes to mind eating this whole thing is thoughtful. Mm -hmm. It's also like very feminine cooking. Like I, and I don't mean this like, you know. I'm very in touch with my family. Yeah, so. no, you, like, it feels like it. Totally. It, yeah. Because there's, like, you could have just left the, the, the ham hole in there, mm. but you decided to cut it up. So as I'm biting into it, I'm not overwhelmed by the meat. And you don't have to split it apart and look like a dog with a chew toy. No, you know? um, I, I love the spinach that's just, like, in there and that um, I'm getting big leafy pieces. And also, mm. and also like the stem of it, it's really good. Um, I love the choice of the mozzarella because again, soft, so it's kind of letting the ham shine. Like mm. I'm getting ham, ham, ham. Mozzarella is more creamy texture versus like a flavored cheese texture. Um, big, big no for me was the um, ketchup mayonnaise. I just thought it was the wrong condiment. Um, not that it's like- We were going so good. No, no, we were, but I had to remember the sandwich. True. Right. So um, the negative for me would be the mayonnaise ketchup, whereas like the mayonnaise ketchup like murdered it on your sandwich. Right. So good. Mayonnaise right. ketchup, you know, because it's like meat, meat, meat. This I felt like I wanted like red wine vinegar. Absolutely. Mayonnaise with great little balsamic, Absolutely. something along those lines. Yeah, because too. you took us on a trip to like you said we were going to Mexico, then Ireland. And then I think at some point we took a little like journey through Italy. But, you know. That's what he said. I didn't. I didn't the busy boys worldwide. All right. It has a California vibe to yeah. it. Use that spinach yeah. wrap. Okay, we need to announce a winner. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, Tyler, bring in the trophy. What does the trophy look like? Oh, it's, it's... <laughs> oh, it's so cute. That's so cute. Do you want me to hold that? Yeah. Can you? God, I hope I get that trophy. <laughs> I feel. Can we have a moment? Sure. Yeah. Maybe could you guys turn around? Sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. Man, fucking rap sucks. I know. I felt like it, and then they reaffirmed it. You really messed it up. I don't even want to eat mine. You guys are like wolfing yours down. Yeah, because they're fucking delicious. You blew it. I have baby hands. I think that's a factor no one put in. 
No one was last. Maybe you should have thought about that when we lost the first challenge. Like if I was going Mark, to yours it. Yeah. Thank you. Yours was good, too. Thank you. No. no See, I actually hate there, there's... a good bit of his. He hates some of mine. But you really fucked this up. I mean, I know. I just given you guys a win. I just wanted you to, like, feel good about yourselves. I, you know, I feel like you're just making that up right now. To be <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> hey. Hey. We're back. Um, oh, do we just do this? Like, we just rip yeah, the band-aid? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, just yeah. rip the band-aid. Um, so I would just like to say that really, um, uh, watching you in your World Central Kitchen, um, aprons and, you know, honoring the sandwich, um, you know, in this, in this scenario, um, has been the best part of the day. Wow. Not that your sandwiches weren't the best part of the day, but that part's more, is better, I think. No, who won? Yeah. Sorry. Um, so we loved all your sandwiches a no, little bit. No, you didn't. Who won? A little bit. Very much so. Okay, you tell them who won. After careful consideration. And a lot of counting. A lot of counting. Um, the sandwich that we would like to revisit, revisit. again would be. It would be the Silent Sea. Yeah. The Silent <laughs> Sandwich of the Sea. God in damn it! I gotta say, the storytelling, yeah. the concept. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just brought the meat. it. The meat. The meat. Yeah. yeah. Fucking baby hands suck. <laughs> So um, uh, we'd like to present you with Whoa. that. Great job. Uh, awesome. We're cooking ever again. And you guys also did a very good job. Yeah, sure. Great. And That's why we're on this side of the table. If we did, we would have won. No, no one asked you to go to that side. But there's, this is so wonderful. Always. And congratulations. And wherever the sea takes you, we wish you well. If this be the only award I win today, I can die a happy man. <laughs> well, cool. Really good to have Aaron and Mark on. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks. Well, thank you for having us. This is great. Oh, yeah, you can leave now. Okay, thank uh, you for th having you. us. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you for having us. No, okay. chefs can stay. No. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh, we can stay. You I have can to leave. leave? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm being scooted off. <laughs> great job. Can I keep the eye patch? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long anyway, as you keep the eye and the trophy. This reminds me of the time that I was booted. Leave! Yeah. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta go, Mark. We gotta, we gotta wrap. It up. <sighs> Bye, Mark. We gotta wrap it up like the busy boy. Like the.